fit. All in with the five high. Take it, take it. And Twan lays his hand down. Well, Twan has to lay down the 9 3, Vince, but. You know, you just have to sense that Hassan feels like he's got to make something happen quickly here. He's just trying to force getting his chip lead back, it looks like. You know, I think Hassan has truly passed the pain barrier time in poker. <laughs> and when you do that, you make moves like that, and they pay off sometimes. Well, it worked for him there. Action's on Paul now. He's just sort of sitting back, letting these guys throw blows. Well, he's got 9-6 at his hand. He's going to go out. Uh, Hassan's got queen eight. He just limps in out of the small blind with it. Twan Lee with king jack makes it a million to go. I'm all in. But over the top, Hassan has said all in. For 5.8 million here. Trying to trap. Jeez. I call. Well, Twan's called him. He just doesn't believe it. He's limping in out of strength. Hassan is cracking like Joe Namath's knees right now. Well, he just sense. Then Hassan is leaking oil, decided to call him with a king jack, and right now, Twan Lee, about a three to two favorite to win this pot and take Hassan Abib out of here. An absolute meltdown here for Hassan. We're coming back, five cards to come, stay tuned. We'll be right back on the World Poker Tour. Welcome back to the WPT World Championship. Hassan Habib started with a massive chip lead. Now his tournament life is on the line. Hassan Habib in big trouble right now. He's got all his money in there with Queen Eight of Clubs against Tuan Lee's King Jack. No momentum whatsoever on the side of Hassan. Can his fortunes turn around right now? They have played like they're double parked. 2.8 million to the winner. Here comes the first three. Now well, flop comes 9 7 deuce. Does not help Hassan. Right now, Tuan Lee out in front with the King Jack. Hassan looking for an eight or a queen. Two running clubs or two running cards to make a straight. Hassan Abib knows he has to get lucky to stay alive here. Can he catch a card to do it? Here comes the turn. Well, the turn card is a deuce of diamonds. No help for Hassan right now. Well, we have come down to the river, and Hassan Abib must catch a queen or an eight, or he's going to drown here in this three-way contest and be out in third place. It all comes down to this card. Here it is. Well, it's a three of diamonds. Didn't get it. Showing jubilation here, but coming back to console Hassan as this Paul. He's calling you to you. He's just calling you for two years in a row. You know, Joe. Well, we're watching one of the truly great players of poker, Hassan Habib, a brilliant poker mind. You're going to celebrate, baby. Well, Vance, he played great for seven days here, but you just sense that his wheels came off a little bit after he took those back to back all in beats. Well, he's going to make $896,000. He gets a standing ovation. Hassan Abib, the guy who finished second in this tournament last year, finishes third this year. So are you going to make it three in a row? Uh, that would be nice, yeah. Third time to charm, right? Yeah. Okay, let's we'll see if you can do it. <laughs> Good luck. Okay. We are down to two players. Who's going to be crowned the WPT World Champion? Well, here come the bevy of beauties. Led by Shauna Hyatt. Cash already sitting out there. As you can see, along with the beautiful Argentium Silver Trophy. The girls are bringing it over to the table to make these guys' mouths water. And why not? 2.8 million to the winner. That's more money than the winner of the Masters and the Kentucky Derby put together. Just incredible. Well, the crowd cheers. I'm not sure if it's for the lovely ladies, but for the fact that we're going to crown a champion shortly. Well, here we go. Poker history on the line here tonight. The second largest prize pool in the history of poker. That's $11.3 million. Winner's going to take home 2.8. It's going to be one of these guys. You become a poker all-star when you win a WPT title. You become a poker legend when you win a WPT World Championship. 452 players started. And now we have the amateur player, Paul Maxfield. Can this dream come true for him tonight versus the 26-year-old Twan Lee? 
As we start out this heads up play, Twan Lee with about a two to one chip advantage over his opponent. Ante's right now going up to $50,000 each with the blinds going to be two hundred and fifty and five hundred thousand. That's a half a million dollars for the big blind. Action's going to be on Twan Lee. Looks down at the ten deuce of spade. And he calls two hundred and fifty thousand dollars now right behind a Paul Maxfield with ace nine of clubs just wrapping a call. Not playing that hand very aggressive, Vince. Here's the flop. Queen nine seven on the flop. Paul hit the nines, but he checked it, Mike. Twan betting this with absolutely nothing. Twan betting seven hundred thousand. And here comes Paul. Well, Paul's just gonna call him. He's just going to throw him rope, Vance, and let him walk the dog here a little bit, I think. He knows Twan's a very aggressive player. The six of hearts comes on the turn. Kind of a scare card. Now, Paul's checked it. There's three hearts on the board now. Neither player has a heart in their hand. Twan's going to check as well. Check, check. Well, Twan Lee has the gut shot straight throw. Vancey H come off. Twan Lee's made a 10 high straight. Oh, that was just a ridiculous card there. Well, he got the free card. Oh, but Paul mixing it up. He's betting now. Oops. Well, now Paul's betting the two nines when there's a four card straight and a potential flush on the board. A little puzzling. Well, he's bet a million dollars. He is doing everything backwards in this hand. Twan Lee with the straight. Certainly. You wouldn't think he'd throw this hand away, but. Well, he's raising with a straight, Vance. He hit the gut shot straight. He's going to raise it. He's made it four million. I don't understand the raise, though. You're only going to get a fold. You can't get a call unless you beat. But nevertheless, he's taking that pot. And Vince, here's a case where I believe Paul lost that pot because of lack of aggression. He checked on the turn. He allowed his opponent to catch a card on the river that would beat him. Well, timidly played, heavily paid. Mr. Mo on the side of Twan. Action's going to be on Twan Lee. He's already in for 250000 This time he picks up Dolly Parton, 9-5. to five. Well, The guy just doesn't give up a pot, Vince. In fact, he raises this one, makes it over a million to go. Into Paul Maxfield. Paul's got a jack-10 this time. This is virtually the minimum raise that you can make. You must raise at least the size of the blind. But Paul is going to speculate. Well, Paul has the jack-10. Getting three to one odds on his money. He's going to make the call there to see a flop. Just sense with a weak hand like Twan's, you'd want to make a larger raise than that if you're trying to take the pot right there. Here come the first three. What's well, 10 8 8? Paul has hit the top pair. Yep, and wisely checks it. And I say wisely checks it because he knows how aggressive Twan Lee is. Here comes Twan for 1.2 million with absolutely nothing. Yeah, got the madman to bet there. Now what do you do if you pull? I'm all in. He's going all in. Well, you see the frustrated look in Twan Lee's face right there. <laughs> he's saying, what was I thinking here with a 9-5 offsuit? Oh, he's just taking a shot. And that's why he wins so many pots, by making those kind of moves. If he's going to lay it down, has to, of course. Paul getting back in the hunt here. Chalk one up to the brick, Vince. Well, this has just turned into a game of chicken. Who's going to take this title? We'll be right back with the WPT Championship Appalachio in just a moment. If I were to play heads up, I'd want to go down with uh, Paul Maxfield because I think he is one of the soft spots in the lineup. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. We're at Bellagio for the WPT World Championship. And we are down to two players, an amateur from England, against a former WPT champion this season, Twan Lee. Winner's going to take home $2.8 million. Twan Lee right now, the chip leader with about $14.6 million. And Paul Maxfield, the entrepreneur, has about $8 million. Action's going to be on, Paul. The Englishman has picked up. No, not Big Ben, but Big Slick, Ace King. And Vince is just limping in with it. Again, trying to trap Twan Lee. That's right, but Twan's not going to go anywhere. He has a 4-3. He says, give us a flop this time. And the flop has come queen 9-4, so Twan has outflopped him here. And he's checked, and right behind him, Paul quickly checking as well. Well, here comes the turn card. 
Well, the board pairs queens. They check, check again, just like that. Well, Twan has the best hand with two fours. Well, he's getting wise from that last hand. Doesn't like to get checked and raised. Here comes the river. An and an ace comes on the river. Paul spiked the river card. Well, again, Twan checks. Two million. Paul's not checking this time. He's betting two million dollars. Well, that's a healthy bet, Vince. There's only a million dollars in the pot. Right. He's been checked all the way down. All of a sudden, he's betting two million. Twan has got to think this is a suspicious move. He's going to call him here. He's not putting him on an ace because he didn't raise before the flop. And Paul, the Englishman, picking up a nice little pot there. And now Twan's kicking himself and saying, wait a second. Well, Vince, you know what Twan's thinking right now. Hey, I see how this guy is playing. He's just trying to trap me on every single occasion. He limped in with ace, king, and close before the flop. He's just going to let me take the lead consistently here. I better be a little careful. Exactly right, but great players know how to change gears, especially when they go into heads-up battle. And Shauna Hyatt's going to tell us about the strategies it takes to play heads-up poker for the money in this week's Poker Corner. Good poker players make money. Great poker players win titles. So what separates the two? It all comes down to one thing. Heads up. <laughs> we are down to heads-up play. Playing head-to-head -head for the big bucks and the title. Some players are good at it, others are even better. So what's the secret? One of the things about heads up is you can't really sit and wait for, you know, big pairs. Martin betting it, getting aggressive, and he's going to take this pot, too. You have to be very aggressive, you know. You have to try to get into the other guy's head. It's almost like a game of chicken, where one guy raises in, but he's raised a lot of pots. Now you raise him back because you don't think he has much. There's no hesitation, just that quick. But one can't survive on aggression alone. When you're playing heads up, you, you definitely have to open up your game a lot more. You have to sniff out when your opponent doesn't have anything. And bets 400000 with that hand. Michael calls 400000 Twice, Lee Watkinson found himself heads up at a WPT final table, but couldn't pull off the win either time. He has bought it. I couldn't really read Doyle heads up or Eli for that matter. <laughs> I probably should work on my heads up. Lee is really a fine player, but he never played any head up, so consequently he didn't really know the ins and outs of playing heads up. You have to put a lot of hours in heads up. You have to sit down and play a lot of hands. The pros agree. Be aggressive, learn to read your opponent, and practice. So in the end, you'll be the toast of the tournament. Right now, the antis and blinds are going to go up. $75,000 antis, and the blinds are going to be three hundred and six hundred thousand. and 600000 What that means is you have to go ahead and gamble, initiate the action, and bet it up. All right. It's Antoine Lee this time. Looks down at just an awful 8-5 offsuit. That's not going to stop him. Well, he's made it 900000 here, Vince. Yes, he has. Now he's taking it back. Well, tournament director Jack McClellan says you have to make the minimum raise. You put in at least half a raise. Yeah. So there you go. Twan's made it $1.2 million. Now, Paul's been watching all this, Vince. Now, Paul, with just a 6-4 in his hand. I'll raise. Oh, he's going to raise it now. He picked up on it. He sensed Twan had made a mistake, tried to limp in. He doesn't have that strong a hand, so he's going to put a move on him here. Two million more. And raise him three million. I'm all in. Twan Lee doesn't buy it. And he's made an incredible re-raise here with 8-5. Well, he shows the crowd the bluff there. Whole stone bluff, ladies and gentlemen. Whole stone bluff. 6-4 Tremendous play by Twan Lee. You know, just take your poker books and get your refund immediately. All right? It just doesn't say this kind of stuff in those books. <laughs> On Paul this time. He looks down at King 8 off suit. Two million. And he's yeah. going to raise it. I'm all in. I cool. Twan Lee says all in. Well, Twan Lee has the ace high. Paul quickly calls him. Oh, so all the money is in right now. Ace 4 against King 8. Um, I raised two million. I only got three left. I raised two. Walk on to his buddy he's in the stands. I him. I've got three million left. I'm not passing for three. Well, he was virtually pot committed there, Vince. Yep. I have to call. I can't pass. Right now, Tuan Lee, a little over three to two favorite to take the title right here, right now, and it would be his second World Poker Tour title. Put an ace up there. Just put an ace. We'll make it. We'll, we'll go home. Drinks on me.